Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Countertop Designer Tutorial. Countertop Designer is a professional CNC integrated design tool that will allow you to create unique countertops for your designs and now with the new 10.0.2 update, designers can set default prices for each corner cut, segments, edge profiles, and more. After you create countertops in the designer, you'll see the full report for it added in your customer report. No more hassle of running the report separately unless needed. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate just how this tool works with this design here. Let's get started. Countertop Designer is an independent feature and can be accessed before or after placing all of your countertops on your base cabinets. To do so, simply navigate to the C-Tops and Moldings tab at the top and select the C-Top Designer icon found in the ribbon or select the C-Top Designer icon found in the top toolbar. When the Countertop Designer dialog box opens, you'll see that it consists of a top toolbar and 15 tabs of settings. Use the tools in the toolbar to create new, delete a selected object or item, scale your design to view to fit, manually zoom in or out on your plan view, selector tool to select items, and save and close to save and close the countertop designer. The tabs consist of settings and templates to create special shaped countertops or auto-generate from your plan, apply specific corner cut styles, create unique edge segments, add cutouts, apply edge profiles, Select texture materials using either Pro Kitchen's textures or your own custom image textures from the user collections and set a price. Apply CNC radii. Add European miters if needed. Auto generate backsplashes. Add sinks and appliances. Set default prices for each countertop element. Run a bill of materials for your created countertop. Place your countertops to your design, and lastly, download and save a final report of the countertops designed. I'm going to use Countertop Designer to create the countertops needed for my design here. Since I launched Countertop Designer after automatically adding all of my countertops to my base cabinets, I can see my countertop layouts on the plan view and begin to edit the pre-existing countertops and add new ones. First, I need to add a snack bar countertop to the left side of my island, so I'll choose a shape template that fits from the Shapes tab. Select a template, move your cursor to your plan view, and before left clicking to place it on the designer plan, navigate to the info panel in the lower left hand side of the designer dialog box and adjust its dimensions accordingly. After adjusted, move your shape where you want it on your plan view and left click to lock it into position. Next, I want to add an outer radius corner cut to some of my corners. I'll open the corners tab at the top and select the outer radius template. Again, adjust the radius dimension in the lower left info panel accordingly. Now, hover over any corner that you want to apply the cut to and left click to apply that corner style. I'll use a segment template to elegantly extrude the other end of my island. Select the template from the ribbon and then click on an edge to apply. The green dot that appears indicates the offset measurement point to adjust the dimensions accurately for this segment. You can adjust the width, depth, angle, and change the offset from center, left, or right. Cutouts can be added by selecting a template from the ribbon, adjusting its dimensions accordingly in the lower left panel, and then hovering your mouse over the area on your countertop you wish to place it. The green dot that appears and repositions with your mouse movement indicates where the cutout is snapped to on your countertop the front or back edge. Once the cutout is placed on the countertop, you can then reposition it using the fields that appear in the info panel on the left. 
Use the offset to center or offset from left or right to set the correct offset measurement needed for that cutout in your design. You can also adjust the offset in or out measurement point. By default, all countertop edges in Pro Kitchen are straight. So I'll use the Edge Profile tab to change mine to a waterfall edge. Select the profile template from the ribbon and then hover over the edges and corners you wish to apply the profile to. Edges highlighted in green indicate the edges the profile has been applied to. To apply an edge profile to an edge that you've already applied a segment to, click on the dotted line that will appear where the original edge was and that will apply the edge profile to the whole segment. The Material tab lets you create a library of countertop texture materials and set a price for them to apply to your countertops. Select the Add Material, give your material a name, and click OK. In the lower left panel, you can give your material a description and then use the Select or Import buttons to set your texture image. The Select will launch Pro Kitchen's Texture Selections dialog box so you can select a texture from one of the texture catalogs. Import will launch your image collections so you can select your own custom textures uploaded to your image collections from your computer. Once your texture image has been selected, you can then set a price value and select its specific price unit. Then click Apply to save. Once saved, you can select the texture from the ribbon and click on your countertops to apply it to the design. Backsplashes can be added in Countertop Designer as well. Simply click the Add Backsplash from the ribbon and then hover your mouse over any edge of the countertop and click Apply. Click to apply. Notice you can change the dimensions of the backsplash in the lower left panel. If you've added an item that you wish to delete, simply use the Select tool from the top toolbar. Then select the Added Element from the Elements panel and click the Delete tool. If you haven't added your sink to your sink base using the cabinet's attributes, you can add it here in Designer. Select the Add Sink from the ribbon and select the plumbing catalog you wish to use and find the sink desired and then click place. Just like the cutouts, the green dot indicates the front or back of the cabinet that the sink will snap to. Move your sink into the position needed and then click to place it in the countertop. Use the left panel to adjust its dimensions change its position to the exact measurement needed using the offset tools, and then choose its installation type. You can do the exact same thing to add appliances like cooktops and repeat that process. The default price tab lets you set default prices for the designer to use for elements. On the right, you'll see all of the elements you can set default prices for, and to set them, simply left-click on an option. In the info panel on the left, you can type in the default price you desire for that element. Here, you'll be setting it as a US dollar amount, and each element will either be priced by each or by a measurement increment. For example, I'll set default prices for my cutouts and waterfall edge profiles. For my cutouts, I'll set a $25 per each price. And waterfall edge, I'll set at $10 per foot. Once set, you'll see your new default prices in the pricing columns. BOM, Bill of Materials for short, will list all of the materials and elements you just added to your countertops and the prices you have determined for them as well. If you need to adjust the price of certain elements in the BOM, you can select it from the list 
and use the info panel on the left to adjust its price calculations, changing its unit and price. The automatically calculated is checked if you have set default prices for the elements in the default price tab, and it's automatically calculated from what you have placed in the countertops on your design plan. Place on Design will give you a summary of your countertop design before placing it on your main floor plan. Use the Place All and Place to place all of the items or just one selected item. Manually Position can be used to manually position specific countertop sections according to your main floor plan. Like the snack bar I've created. First, select the countertop section you wish to manually position and then click the Manually Position icon above. The countertop designer will temporarily close and let you manually position that countertop section in reference to your main floor plan. Move it into position with your mouse and then left click to place. The countertop designer will reopen and you can then click the Place All to place all to your design. Lastly, the report will display your countertop report that can be used to send to your fabricator and you can use the icons in the ribbon above to export, save, preview, or print the report. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top toolbar to save and close the countertop designer. And voila, your new countertop is added to your main floor plan. However, by default, all countertops are placed at the height of your base cabinets. So, in order for my snack bar to rest on top of the 40 inch high wall I have placed, I'll use the up down tool from the countertop's right click toolbox to adjust its elevation position. Select the countertop, right click, and select the up down tool from the toolbox. In the info panel, I'll type in 40 inches from the bottom and then hit the enter key on my keyboard to place it at that position. Render your design in 3D HD to see your freshly added countertops. Close the 3D viewer and run your customer report, setting up your calculations as normal. When you get to the Project Setting tab in the Customer Report Setup, make sure the box next to Show Countertop Elements is checked. This will include your countertop report in the Customer Report. And there you go. Now you'll see the countertops report added in your Customer Report after your cabinetry catalogs. The price for your countertops will be included in the complete job total on the last page of the Customer Report. And that's it. Now you're ready to start working with the countertop designer to create the exact countertops and prices you need for your designs.